Welcome, this is Imdog, and we are playing Russian Fishing 4, the home of the throne ground bait. And as you'll see here, we are fishing at Old Berg. And we'll see what we've got on here. What we're trying to catch here is tench. And thought we would just do a quick video. Looks like we've got a common here. So keep this in your mind. It's a 2.4 common carp. With the bait we're using, we are um, likely to catch those as well. So coordinate-wise, we're at 23.67. And uh, gear, uh, we're using three different poles. Uh, all pretty advanced feeders. Uh, that's not super important, though. Um, we are using tench ground bait, uh, ground bait and loop rigs. Size 10 hooks seems to be about right. This one's got fluorocarbon line on it, but with the tench, it doesn't seem to be uh, that important to use fluorocarbon. I think mono is working just as well, even without a leader. Uh, but here's the important part. We're using honey dough on two of the, two of the rigs. And then <clears throat> on the middle one here, we have cheese. And we're kind of switching this between cheese, cottage cheese. Uh, some of the worm species will work here as well for tench. The point is that tench is... Um, these days seems to be biting a lot of different baits and maybe they have for a while but it seemed like back in the day um, when I actually leveled through this area uh, it didn't seem like they were interested in quite as many baits as they are now um, this may be a tench here we may have caught our first tench of the day yep and this is on the honey dough and um, Again, size 10 hook, and that was on fluorocarbon, but from the, the limited testing I've done, I really don't think fluorocarbon makes that much of a difference um, instead of just using mono. The tench seemed to be fine with just the mono as well. Here's another one. That's a little smaller, but still in the marker range. And so since we've been standing out here, we have caught fish on both lines, but not on this one. So I think we switch off of the diced cheese here, and let's see. Let's do a little quick little test with cottage cheese and see if it gets the attention of something a little quicker. But it is worth um, pointing out if you are just leveling through Old Bird and don't have this level of gear or even you know anywhere close to this level of gear you do have to be a little bit careful um, with using the the honeydew bait um, oh by the way on this one the wind gate we've got a really big we're trying a little, little bigger hook on this one so it's a size hip six hook so that is a little bigger um, but you do have to be careful if you've got lower level gear because like I said we're going to be catching commons here uh, people usually ask how far we're casting out. We're, we're casting out about 40%. There's a little gibble. Honeydew will catch a little bit of everything at times. We're casting about 40% out, although I have found that you can cast a lot more close to the shore, even than that, and uh, and still and still catch the tench and other fish. But 40% seems to kind of get the ones that are close, and then also you're out there a little bit. So, I don't know. seems about right to go around 40% to me. But, yeah, and so it's a pretty good spot. Uh, I was wrong. This one is under the marker. I guess it's maybe it's around 600 grams that you get tench to be a marker. Um, but it seems to be a good, pretty, good, pretty good spot. It's, it's nice to have a feeder spot right now. And this is here at the end of April 2018. It's nice to have a feeder spot other than just going for bream at Volkov, which we've done a lot of lately. But um, So, yeah, hopefully this is helpful. If you're looking for a spot, 2367 for tench here at Oldberg seems to be good. Be mindful of the common carp, but uh, although a lot of different baits are working for the tench, try out honey dough. It seems to be really good. It seems to be really good. As always, thanks for watching.